for tuning in to another episode of Out of Bounds with the Ref. I'm your host, Rashawn E. Forrest. This show is a platform for the world to see the positive endeavors that athletes of all levels are involved in. This particular episode is going to be a multi-part series featuring Kiana Williams. Williams is a young lady who was once a student athlete and captain of her basketball team at the University of Albany. While at the University of Albany, her team went from the team that everybody wanted to play just for an easy win to the team that no one wanted to play because they had greatly improved. Although she had loved where being a student athlete had led her in life, her heart was leading her in a different direction. It was leading her to be the captain of the court to the captain of a classroom to navigate and inspire kids to fulfill their dreams. In this first part, you will hear accounts from her mother and herself about how her early years led her to the game of basketball. I was involved in church and sports, so if I wasn't at church, I was at practice or a game, and if I wasn't at practice or a game, I was at church. So, you know, my life definitely incorporated those two things heavily, um, which I'm very thankful for. It definitely grew me up into the person who I am today. Um, going to Riverview Missionary Baptist Church, when I was little, ever since I could remember, you know, there was always something to do for us as young people, which kept us out of trouble, kept us focused, and then, you know, sports also played a big role, just whether I was in games or doing AAU travel or CYO, you know, I was always active, I was always busy, I was always involved in something. After I got divorced, I thought that, you know, statistics say that the children of divorce end up, you know, just off the chain and um, I, I have to say that it wasn't like that. She actually excelled after the divorce. So um, I have to just thank God for that because um, I truly believe that I was blessed in that area and I feel like because not having two parents in the household would um, devastate her but she actually excelled. She got a scholarship to do ballet mm -hmm. and it was her second or third year of doing ballet and um, I believe she was at going to Bailey at the time she was walking in the hallway and Coach Garner said to her, you're not playing basketball, you need to be in. And he asked her to come try out. Um, and that's how she actually started playing basketball. Um, I didn't think she would make the team because I was thinking she'd never driven a ball before. So um, I didn't think she would, she would make the team. But if anything, she would be on modified. And then... Um, I sent my nephew to the high school, Bavar, and he said, no, they're going to put her on JV, and they're going to work with her, so I was like, are you kidding me right now? So she had to make a decision of whether she wanted to continue to do ballet or she wanted to play basketball, so she wanted to try basketball. In seventh grade, when she started playing, she, she didn't really take to it, she really didn't like it as much, and another coach had said, let me work with her. Um, over the summer and she she got better and she improved so then she started getting a little bit better and a little bit better she started to um, get used to it because it's you know when you're tall and you're young it's it's that lanky those lanky years so it was that moment when she started to come into her own after actually learning the game of basketball coming from never dribbling to getting put into a game and you know, at being asked to block shots and rebound, and we've never played before. I started playing in seventh grade, first time I ever touched the ball, went to a practice, played in a game, all the above seventh grade. Um, why basketball? Well, one, I didn't have a choice. <laughs> um, two, <laughs> my, my father played, so it was, you know, it was kind of cool to follow in his footsteps, and not only follow in his footsteps, but kind of do my own thing, because yeah, my father was known for basketball, but... I was able to kind of make my own name. I wasn't known as my father's daughter. I was known as Keanu Williams, which was exciting in itself. But um, definitely my height, you know, when you're walking around a small town, 6'2", you know, you can't really get away from the sport. So I can't even really say that I chose basketball. I really think basketball chose me, and I'm glad it did. But yeah, that, that's kind of my story. I think the takeaway from this first part is that you should never discount what you can do before you even try it. Because you never know what could happen. Tune in next time to see how her high school days led to a historic milestone that led to her college days. Until next time, enjoy the daylight in your life and those around you. <music>